Meantime, we're following new developments in a controversial case out of Colorado. In a rare move, both police officers and paramedics are being charged in the 2019 death of Elijah McClain, a young black man who was restrained and injected with a powerful sedative. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez is in Aurora, just outside Denver, with the details. Gabe, good morning. Chanel, good morning. Legal experts say it's not only unusual for police officers to face charges in this type of case, but extremely rare for paramedics to do so. So now here in Aurora, two officers, one former officer and two paramedics are each charged with manslaughter and criminally negligent homicide. Four of the five are also facing assault charges. Now, in August of 2019, Elijah McLean was walking home from a convenience store wearing a ski mask when he was detained by police, responding to a call about a suspicious person. After struggling with officers, he was placed in a carotid hold, and paramedics injected him with a powerful sedative ketamine. Now, initially, there were protests following this case, but no charges. It got renewed attention last year after the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Now, the Aurora Police Union maintains that its officers did nothing wrong, saying that Mr. McLean died due to his violently resisting police as well as a previous uh, heart condition. Now, separately, Colorado's attorney general is continuing a civil rights investigation looking into whether this police department's actions were part of a pattern. City officials here say they are cooperating. Chanel. All right, Gabe, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.